Okay, Master Mason, no, George Gold coming at you from the STEM lab here, or the STEM vehicle. I'm just out, just fired out of the Hydron Collider, we're ready to go. Now, today was a pretty good day, but there was a few incidents I want to cover for the company's means. I think they were pretty good. Uh, but also for OSHA and MSHA ratings and things like that, because it's super important to come up today. I don't remember any of the little stuff that really, you know, there might have been some, you know, something. I don't know. I'm sure there was something. But the big one wound up being a crane move, a strap crane move, which, yeah, I'm fair. I'm on experience. I don't know what I'm doing. I've, I've done it a few times in there. So I want to do this carefully because there's three cards on the table. I'm going to be one of them. Beer's going to be one of them. And Billy's going to be one of them. And so I want you to define the Pikachu bite attack, the strength, the HPP, all that stuff for this ability. So y'all going to make a master race and masonry for, uh, review that's discriminative as fuck, so guess what? So am I. I already got from uh, some things from here about Billy. There's also my horizon, and we're just going to keep this crowbar going around. So y'all should know my general feelings about beer, and you probably all know my general feelings about Billy. Now, I'm not about to say a goddamn word about anything. What's more important is the incident between those two. Now, I got rock on the ground. I'm in the morning, I have some stuff, so what if I don't get right to the fucking saw on it right there, like Dal doesn't, you know, Dal get it, we're set up in the morning. It, it's really not that big of a beef. Except for on Veer's side of the coin. Then it's a big, I have a job, that job is the thermal rock, when that rock is not thermal correctly. And it given in a detailed model of the dollars via cheeseburger quantification of this. 83. What are the results? The irrational numbers that they're catching. This is not quantum mechanics. This is every job. You have, there was a couple things that I got to say. You got to have active incident reports, uh, three strike warnings on stuff. I don't care if it's family. I don't care. My safety, my choice to stay at this company because a manager and employee are going to constantly have this fucking beef. I have an employee, whether I know he's a manager or not telling me, wait, a year for the air crane or for that strap crane. You are already, you are already out of your mind if you think I'll wait for a year dragging my feet for that. Get get rich up in that building, the fucking hand, and we're going to solve this all right today. That strap crane issue, Veer's issue, Billy's issue, Jordan's issue right now. Because that's what it would take. Get the hand up there. Solve the goddamn problem. You don't need to be a quantum mechanics expert. You do not know how to. You don't need no gear ratios on them saws. For 20 minute fix on this. I'll, it might not last forever. Do them saws? But I know that checklist on, hey, up, down, left, right, that's what that is. Here are block qualifications that you have to have two people for. Here are the ones where they are one. When I ask Gary, what is law? When I ask Billy, what is fucking law? When I when Veer comes over me and trick question me about that, when I can tell him, this is law. This is a stack of what this is based on the fucking hand. It's a checklist. It's like, why would you wait for OSHA, MSHA to give you these things? I mean, stupid is quantifiable based to 83, whether it be the propane or anything else. And I don't mean to say this because I'm a quantum mechanics expert. It's because I have crane experience. It's because I have forklift experience. I have skid steer experience. I have five five-foot saws, run them at night with, a, with, a, with an angel or a devil over my shoulder on those cameras. With crew. And guys, I mean, an air crane you do by yourself where you push all the buttons, and you got guys sticking your hand in there left to be responsible for those things, you really have to take in consideration, is this right? Because that's what I'm hot about. I'm always hot about that in general. It's really not the company at all. Nothing in terms of what that's every company I have ever fucking walked into, and it drives me crazy. Beyond that, Billy, you need to fix your shit up. Do it in front of everybody inside that break room and let them take a break. I don't care if y'all have personal fucking vendettas, responsibilities. You think you're a prince, you think you're a manager. You're fucking people in here. If you're fucking up the game by the number on the vote, let them all have a goddamn decision. Either that or have the hand come up there and fix it. Billy's supposed to have obligation and responsibility to his job details. When that doesn't do something to stress somebody else out, Veer come over to me like he was ready to beat me with a crowbar for doing that. I'm just doing my job putting rock to the table. Now, that's not what he did, and we had a conversation about that. Hey, Veer, I went over to him afterwards when things calmed down a little bit. Let him settle it out a little bit. Hey, man, I, I figured better to ask for forgiveness and permission on those rocks right there. And he's like, yeah, 
And you're right. And I had lied about that. I don't know if you remember from any videos. Anything with a deep angle on it. What's more about you got to have a long end on it. Make the, the straps very tight together and work the... It's like no matter what you do with them suction cranes, when you got a big triangle rock, you're going to have a tilt in that. It's going to happen. And that's, that's a lot of stress. It puts an angle on it, especially flat. I, you know, there's this working jewels. Here's the paper grade. Put too much on that. You know, but we can't know any of that until we get the strap on it. And then she's up. You know, why is she rocking? And then there's maybe a little bit of north, south, east, west. And if you miss the button, it bumps. You know, are you doing any prep work? Are you doing your three-foot window? Bump, hit the button for two seconds, move north, and then let go. If you got to do that ten times in order to hub it to your space, we're, we're taking it out on the serviceability because safety first. We'll get somebody up there. As we got, we got the jobs doing this all day. And not my decision to make those things. And I really don't care which way you go. I just want to know I'm, ma I'm making the right decision and the choices I'm making for it. I mean, honestly, there's some things you make. This, I'm pushing buttons on the saw now. I had Dal come over to me. I don't know if you like that. And then he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, "Hey, you know, make sure that that's going to be an eighth or three sixteenths over." I'm like, Phew. You know, I'm still not exactly sure if I'm allowed to touch that button. And shit, I'm coming from Italian gantries and five-foot saws. Shouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out, but here I'm three weeks into this, four weeks into that. It's like, I have no clue. So, who is? Rich? Osha? Emshaw? Veer? Kurt? Dal? Jordan? Billy? Who? Fucking marshmallow on them rocks right there, guys. They gauge our levels in success. I waited until I got home. Catch you on the next one.